And now for question seven, part B. It's about volumes of revolution. So we're given a curve, which is the equation y equals six e to the power of two x plus sine two x times cosine x. The region R is rotated or is shaded in figure three, is bounded by the positive x axis, the positive y axis, the curve, and the region R is rotated through two pi around the x axis. It's going to rotate around the x the x axis, two pi radians, one whole revolution. Okay, and we have to um, to form form a solid of revolution, so it's going to like be some weird kind of three-dimensional kind of like a lamp kind of shape, bowl kind of shape. And it says here, um, use the answer to part A to find the volume of the solid formed, giving the answer in simplest form. So basically what we know is when we want to find the volume of a solid of revolution that has been rotated through one revolution about the x-axis, we use the formula, the integral of pi times y squared dx. Okay, this is because of we're taking like these little cylinders um, and we're splitting up into tiny little cylinders and the cylinders have a radius which is like the y coordinate of these points and a thickness which is a little small amount in the x-axis. So the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h. So this would be pi times r which is going to be the radius which in this case would be y squared times h which is going to be the small amount of x adding up all the cylinders from the from the two limits we can use the integral between those limits okay a and b whatever it is and that gives you the volume of all of that shape when it's rounded when it's wrapped around the x-axis i've given it a bit more of a detailed explanation in some other videos which you'll find in the playlist okay but that's just a little quick explanation you can refer to some of those other videos to have a more in-depth one now in this case um, we have our limits between 0 and pi over 2 just like in that answer so we have v equals the integral between 0 and pi over 2 of y squared pi y squared dx I'll write the pi on the outside we're going to have y squared which is going to be 6 e to the power of 2x plus sine of 2x times cosine x squared with respect to x okay so when you square this you're going to end up with v equals that 6 squared is going to become 36 which I'm going to write on the outside so 36 pi you have 0 and pi over 2 what happens when you square e to the power of something if I have for example a to the power of x um, to the power of you know y I have a to the power of x times y so when I square something if I have e to the power of 2x plus sine 2x and I square that I've got to basically multiply this by 2 okay a to the power of m raised to the power of n you multiply the powers so I have to multiply the powers and cosine x all squared is cosine squared x dx so this is going to give me 36 let me make a bit more space than that that's going to give me the volume equals 36 pi times the integral between 0 and pi over 2 of e to the power of, um, it's going to be 4x plus 2 sine 2x. Why? Because we have to multiply this by 2. So 2x times 2 and sine 2x times 2, you get 4x plus 2 sine 2x. And this is cosine squared x dx now if we look at our answer from the previous part of the question where it says use the answer to part a if we look at this answer here this is exactly the same as we got in here okay so now as we can see that the integration has already been done in the same limits exactly the same so we can just replace all of this with 1 over 8 e to the power of 2 pi minus 1. So v is going to be 36 pi times 1 over 8 e to the power of 2 pi minus 1. So we can see that uh, 4 goes into this 9 times, 4 goes into this 2 times. So we're left with 9 pi over 2 
times e to the power of 2 pi minus 1 and this is cubic units and there we have the answer to this question so this is actually quite a short question um, because most of the work has been done in part a um, I saved it as a separate video anyway, no problem. So if you would like to find other questions from this paper, including part A of this question, you can find it in the playlist. You will see the link appearing at the top of the video, um, sorry, at the top of the screen at the end of the video um, over here. In this area, you'll find a playlist for integration and here a playlist for um, volumes of revolution. And here you can subscribe to my channel if you wish to. Thank you for watching and see you soon.